boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to Morris's Polo Review Channel. Today we'll be talking about what is on my mannequin, which are two new cops and uh, two more new cops. So let's get into it. Um, Today is Sunday, a day of rest. So make sure for the ones who are, make sure you're resting. <laughs> I mean, we got a work week coming up, so we got to get it. You know, we got to be active. We got to be uh, on top of it. So get your rest in. You know what I'm saying? The older you get, the more rest you need. Hate to say it like that, but it is what it is. We got to we gotta make sure our body is in the best condition. And I'm trying to get there. Um, <clears throat> just want to talk to you about a few things. Um, of course, this is a Ralph Lauren review channel on certain things that I cop, certain things that I think are, you know, as far as um, has some type of weight. You know, some type of value in a rap flooring community. Uh, I try to put together pieces, of different looks, you know, uh, just, you know, settled, clean looks, you know, not necessarily the outrageous looks that's doing too much or whatever the case may be. Um, also, I talk about, you know, positivity, which we have to have positivity in our life, regardless on whatever the situation may be, because guess what? In life, there, there there is a learning lesson in everything. So, just try to take all the good components to, in a situation out, even if the situation is a bad situation. <laughs> so, let's get into it. So, today I have a Marsh jacket. Um, very detailed. Um, on the side of it, it has U of P, meaning University of Polo. Um as you can tell, it has the 67 on the side with the pedal boats crossing. When I see the both of the pedal boats crossing, uh, that just remind me of a rugby. You know, his whole stamp has been rugby, um, yacht clubs, uh, kayaking, whatever the case may be. Ralph has a long catalog of incorporating his clothes into all different type of facets. So, with that being said, you just got to you know, put them in a bowl, mix them up, whatever comes out, hope it look good. But, you know, I'm just here to try to guide you a little bit on what to do and what things not to do. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway, with that being said, this particular jacket is very detailed. Um, you have this on the side. It has leather tabs right here. So, you got the string going across in your stomach or upper chest or in the middle. And also, you have the leather tabs on the bottom. The leather tabs on the bottom, you can also tie up or whatever the case may be when you're out, if you get super cold or whatever. Um, <clears throat> underneath, I have a Shawnick Ralph Lauren gray with a black polo spell out with white letter um, lining across of it. Um, this right here is a nice, thick Shawnick um, sweater very detailed as, as far as I can see, and I wanted to put it with a black jacket. I'm not a fan of black jackets. Well, not, excuse me, not black jackets, but black pants. I'm not a big fan of that. I hate black pants. You know, each to his own. Whatever, whatever. Rock out of, <laughs> rock out with him if you like him. Um, with, anyway, with this particular piece or this particular setup, I'll go with dark denim. Maybe some chassis boots or you can rock Chuck, Chuck Taylor's with it just to give it a uh, more casual look whatever the case may be um, so we'll go to the back <laughs> the back of this particular jacket has um, New York on the back of it everybody know that is Ralph Lauren's birthplace um, but he got 60 he got uh, New York 67 on the back of it like I said before it's a a more detailed type of jacket whenever you rock it you know people gonna see it you know and it's it's giving me a like a vintage type of vibe because back in the days when we wore t-shirts especially in the south we always had something you know in the back of them you know with just like a staple like what well, let's see what you got on the back of your t-shirt you know that that's back in the day um so i'm showing my age right now so let's get into a cop I'll go power cop first. <sighs> this particular piece is more like a, I think I seen it in um, the commercials um, back in the day when Ralph Lauren was making like the, I wouldn't say the cricket sweater, um, 
commercials or whatever the case may be. But it is a rugby piece. Um, and I had to have it in my my staple. So we'll get into it. This particular piece is a cricket sweater, a Ralph Lauren cricket sweater. Oh, sorry about that. Very detailed. You see the crest in the middle are with the pedal books in the front of it. The pedals, you know, in the front of it, as far as detailing, it's a very, very nice, thick piece. This piece right here has been around for a while. Everybody, If you don't know anything about um, rugby, rugby discontinued in 2014. It started in 2004. So they went 10 years, 10 years as a standalone part of Ralph Lauren. Yeah. But with this cricket sweater, I can see two, two ways you can ride this. You can go with the light blue chinos. Or you can rock out with the dark blue chinos with this particular setup. Um, me, myself, person, I'll probably do the light blue. You know, everybody do dark blue um, chinos. I do the light blue just so to give more pop with that uh, navy blue in it. So that's what I would do. Um, thank you. You know who you are. I'm not going to give you a shout out. <laughs> well, I will. Thank you, Sun Low, for... This particular piece here and I came across a nice little deal on that um, situation. So, appreciate your business, boss. Oh. Also, this particular piece I caught on a whim just looking through eBay. Yeah, looking through eBay, came across this piece. The seller wanted like 150 I believe, for it. So, I offered him like 80 bucks. Just, you know, his DM hit him or her DM, I don't know which one it was. And I was like, hey, will you take 84? And they were like, sure. So with this particular piece, it's another rugby piece. But like I say, I gotta get these rugby pieces because they're brand new. Well, anyway, boom, a ru another rugby vest. Yeah. I went with, I like it. It's dark green, it's not doing too much. It's not saying rugby all over it is just a plain Jane Ralph Lauren rugby piece, you know. Um, the vest thing, the vest situation, it has a, it's very detailed, it has the, the ducks on the side of it, on the buttons. And this particular piece, let me let everybody know something about rugby for the ones who don't know about rugby. Rugby is a somewhat as a Ivy League look, but understand you have your you know, this blue label. You have that rugby also, and you have outdoors rugby. So it's a difference. Same company, different looks. But like I said before, you can throw it all in the pot, stir it up, and come out, you know, the same. But um, yeah, this is more of an outdoor piece. It's reversible. Well, it can be reversible if you wanted to, but I don't think it, I think I never wear it with the plaid out. Only because you got the, the tags. I don't, if you're going to reversible something, put the tag somewhere that's embroidered, you know, have a, have it tucked up under or something where you don't see it. But it is a reversible, a reversible piece. So that's, I think that's dope. Bringing back, you know, um, the old school days when you had reversible joints back in the day. But you can wear it with the plaid out, you know, if you choose to. Or whatever the case may be, me, myself, personally, I never wear it like that. Only because I don't like the tabs hanging on the outside. <laughs> That's just me. But, uh, yeah. So, um, give y'all a little tip as far as, you know, uh, searching. It's okay to inbox people. It's okay to ask them for, you know, a reasonable price that you see fit for your budget. Never be scared to hit them up and be like, hey, would you take X, Y, Z? You know, I know it's not what you want, but this is what I have right now. Can we make a deal? Question mark and be done. Um, I say nine times out of 10, they'll hit you back where y'all can you negotiate a price. 
that way um you feel you know okay with the money you spent and they feel okay with accepting the price that you gave them ain't nothing wrong with that you got to be more and i'm not saying more friendly because these people don't know you we are on our um smart devices computers or whatever so they don't know your face they don't know nothing all they know is somebody you know hit them up and ask them for a price adjustment there's nothing wrong with that because sometimes people tend to overprice certain things and we want it but the thing about it is we it's okay to ask them because all they can say is no so don't know about like rejection but i get it we got to uh be more more adamant about you know conversation with people people and their prices as far as certain garments or certain items that you want in your collection there's nothing wrong with that and um yeah that's life. Life is all about negotiation. You know, you got to learn to negotiate with people in life because if a, I can't put my price on another man's piece, but I can offer him a reasonable price for that piece. So you just got to move around like that. So um, thank you for everybody who came out to Maurice's Polo Review channel. Um, I got, see, I got a lot of subscribers. We've been pushing up towards, uh, I, I want to say like 720, 720, 725, something like that. You know, let's try to go ahead and get this thing to 800. You know what I'm saying? And then after 800, it is what it is. We'll just rock out like that. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Um, like I said, this is a it's a polo review channel, of course, but also about positivity. You got to have positivity in your life, period. Because of the simple fact you know, without positivity, you're not progressing in life. So we got to have it. So with that being said, thank you for coming to Maurice's Polo Review channel. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend and tell a friend. We all family over here. So I appreciate everybody hard work, you know, coming out, you know, hit that like button, you know what I'm saying? So other people can, you know, come to our family. <laughs> so salute and enjoy your work week.